If you watch one video before you install your Walrus, it's this one. Today, I'm gonna be going over the top things not to do with your Walrus when you're installing it to avoid simple mistakes and make your time easier and more cost efficient. So when you get your Walrus battery, you're gonna fix the inverter onto the top, on top of the battery, which is on bottom. Now on the back, you'll see that they connect via these cables. First things first, you wanna make sure these cables are 100% secured. Push them in tightly and make sure there's no wiggle room. One common issue that people run into is these cables not being properly fastened, leading to issues with your unit staying on. Once you've got those cables connected, you'll see a small silver button nearby. That's your power button for your battery. Make sure you turn that on and keep it on so that your walrus can operate. Also, before you power on your unit, be sure to check the breaker on the side. Make sure that's on too. Once that's all taken care of, just press the power button on the front and your unit will turn on. The full how-to guide on how to install a walrus into your home is on our YouTube channel. But one thing I wanna mention here is to make sure that you have a sub panel in your home. This is a simple, cheap install that every electrician is familiar with. Just get the sub panel in and make sure you're running your power from your walrus into that sub panel instead of running it into your main grid. If you run power out of your walrus into your main grid, you'll cause an energy loop which can damage both your battery and your home. Don't do that. A lot of people get walrus systems to take advantage of peak shaving and lower their power bill with time of use settings. After you set your time, make sure that you check the boxes on the side. If those boxes aren't filled in, your battery's not gonna adhere to the time settings that you configured. Second, you wanna ensure that there's a five minute delay between charging and discharging. So don't set your unit to start charging and discharging at the same time, right at 5 p.m. for example, have it stop charging at 5 p.m. and discharge at 5.05. Those are some of the simple pitfalls you want to avoid when installing your Walrus. For more information and tips, check out our YouTube page, Battery Evo, and go to our site, batteryevo.com, where you can take advantage of our best, latest deals.